Oh, no. Jeffy's putting tape on the couch again. Oh, no. Jeffy, stop it. Baby, get the laser pointer. Okay. Jeffy, stop putting tape on the couch. I'll hop through. Here, Jeffy. Go get it. <laughs> go get it. Come on, Jeffy. Yeah, get the laser. <laughs> Make him go out of the room. Okay. <laughs> go get it, Jeffy. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> oh, there's someone at the door. Baby, keep playing with Jeffy. I'm answer the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin. Can I come inside? I just need someone to talk to. Yeah, sure, buddy. Thank you. Hey, Dane, look what I did to the couch. I made it all pretty pretty. Baby, you're supposed to distract them with the laser pointer. The laser pointer died, Marvin. And I ran out of tape. Can you go in the store and buy me some more? Get out of here, Jeffy. Okay. Oh, there's tape all over the couch. Baby, you're supposed to hide the tape. I did, Marvin, but he found it. He always finds it. Why is there tape all over your couch? My son likes to put tape on the couch. Listen, what do you want to talk about? Well, I was on my way to my 27-year high school reunion, but then I found out that my high school bully's going to be there, so now I don't want to go. Why do you have a 27-year high school reunion? Oh, well, after the 25th year, people start dying, so they just do it every year. It's pretty sad. Oh, well, you said your high school bully's going to be there? Yeah, Candy Randy. Candy Randy? Randy. Yeah, let me tell you the story. So back in high school, there was this kid named Randy that everybody called Candy Randy because he would sell candy to everybody in the school. Now, for some reason, Randy didn't like me. I can't imagine why. But usually, he would only charge a dollar for his candy. But then one day, a couple hours before lunch, I was hungry, and I had a dollar burning a hole in my pocket. So I went up to Randy, and I was like, hey, Randy, let me get some Skittles. And he said, for you, that'll be two dollars. And I said, Randy, that's bullshit, because usually, you only charge one dollar, and I only have one dollar. But he still wouldn't sell me the Skittles. So I did what any man would do, and I picked my nose and I wiped a booger on him. And Randy didn't like that at all. He was pissed off, and he stood up and said, okay, meet me after school by the flagpole, and me and you are gonna fight. And then all the students and all the teachers went, ooh, so I pretty much had to do it at that point. So then I spent the whole rest of my day trying to figure out how I could fake my own death so I didn't have to fight Randy. I even tried to call my mom and see if she would check me out of school, but she wouldn't do it. So then, after school, I went up to the flagpole, and there was this huge crowd of people gathered around, and they were all chanting, Randy, Randy, and I I was like, that's not fair. I can fight Randy. I got this. All he ever does is eat candy. I can take him. So then I started throwing haymakers, and Randy just kept dodging them. And then Randy started beating the shit out of me. I mean, he, he was good. And then the worst part is his hands were still sticky from eating all that candy. And then after he got done beating me up, he took my underwear and tied it to the flagpole, and then he hoisted my underwear up like a flag. And then my underwear had a skid mark in it, so that was horrible. And then everybody started saying the Pledge of Allegiance to my underwear. I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. So that that's the story of Candy Randy. Well, that's dumb. There's no way all your classmates are going to remember that 27 years later. Oh, believe me, they're going to remember the skid mark. It was huge. I practically shit my pants. You didn't wipe that day? Have you ever tried to wipe your ass with toilet paper at a school? It's like trying to wipe your ass with Taco Bell napkins. They're all rough and they're thin. I'd rather not even wipe, which is why I didn't. But my ass was itching a lot, though. I still think you should go to your high school reunion. Well, look, I'm not going, okay? I, I spent $150 to rent this suit for the night, and I don't want it to go to waste. So I was just wondering if you guys wanted to go to, like, Red Lobster. Maybe if we're feeling classy, we could try going to Applebee's. I mean, I really want to go to Outback, but there's no way I can reserve a table this late. No, not with their blooming onions. Did you say candy, Randy? Yeah, do you know him? Yeah, there was a guy at the gas station named Randy who sold candy. Wait, what do you look like? Did you look like an asshole? No, he had cornrows and tattoos. Yep, that's him. That's that asshole. What, you know him? Yeah, he sold me candy for a dollar. <laughs> a dollar for you? Why did it have to be two dollars for me, Randy? Why? <laughs> well, listen, you got to get over this Randy guy. So I think you should go to your high school reunion, go up to him with a dollar, and try to buy some candy. Maybe he'll like you now, and you can get over all all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, it has been 27 years. Maybe he's cool now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go, and I'll come back and tell you guys how it went. <laughs> well, what happened? Well, I got to the reunion, and Randy was selling candy for a dollar, so I tried to give him a dollar, and then he punched me in the face, and he took my dollar, and then he pulled my underwear out, and there were still skid marks on it, and then he started waving my underwear around, and everybody started laughing and calling me skid mark guy and poop clin guy, and that's not even clever. Yeah, Randy does have anger issues. How many times did you see this Randy guy? Well, we dated like 10 years ago. You dated a candy salesman at a gas station? He was nice! He gave me candy! Oh my god, is he hot? Hell no! Well, why would you date a guy who sells candy at a gas station? I want to see him. Call him over. Are you sure? Yeah, I want to see him right now. We're going to beat him up. Okay, I think I still have his number. Let me get my yearbook. <sighs> okay, here's my yearbook. Oh, 
Huh? Your wife signed it? Oh, no. She signed that after we were already married because she thought it'd be cute. She didn't even go to the same school as me. Wait, who's Baked Ziti Feedy Peedy? Okay, look, I don't have time to explain all the names in the book. Okay, but I'll explain that one. See, I went to high school with this guy named Petey, and we all called him Baked Ziti Petey because he always brought Baked Ziti to lunch and ate it. But then he went on a ski trip, and he got frostbite on both his feet, so he had to heat him up by putting his feet in pans of Baked Ziti and walking around. So we started calling him Baked Ziti Feedy Petey. All the names in your yearbook sound like freaks. Yeah, they are. All right, so look, there's Candy Randy's number. I still can't believe you dated a guy who sold candy at a gas station. It was forever ago, Marvin. Well, look, call him over here because I want to have a word with him. Okay, let me go get my phone. Okay, I called him and there he is. Oh, hey, what's going on, Doogie Pants? Don't call me that in front of my friends. You ain't got no friends. Yes, I do. I have two and they're right here. Oh, shit, is that Rosebud? Hey, Randy. Hey! You trying to get another taste of this pizza stick? No, Randy. I'm married now. Oh, well, that's a shame, because you just want a golden ticket to the white chocolate factory. You trying to see my Willy Wonka? Randy, meet my husband, Marvin. Ex-husband. Marvin! So you on the market? Because I'm trying to see where these little piggies are going. Hopefully they're going to be wee-wee-weeing all the way back to my place. ha <laughs> No, Randy, I'm married. Well, he's one lucky man, because I remember when you used to li 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 lick me like a lollipop. You know, like that little Wayne song? You know that song, old man? I've heard it. What did you see in him? Well, I can tell you what she didn't see, a 401k or a high credit score. But what she did see was 7.3 inches below the waist on a good day. And every day was a good day. Okay, you know what? I think we should just talk about why we invited you over here. Oh, my bad. I was just reminiscing how I used to make up my Cadbury cream egg. You know what a Cadbury cream egg is? Yeah, I know what it is. I love this. Right, this. So, Brooklyn guy wants to call you over here because he wants to fight you. Well, I didn't say that. Oh, so he's trying to get his ass beat. Well, no, no. He wants a professional fight in a boxing ring tonight. But no, no, Randy. I didn't say that. Okay. Well, you're wrong. Well, you better stop training. I'll see you tonight. What, Marvin, why would you do that? Because you need to fight him. You need to get revenge. Listen, you need a professional fight that you actually train for so you can beat him up. But I already have a black eye. He's going to kick my ass. Well, look. We're going to do a training montage. We're going to fix your eye up, and you're going to be ready to fight him, okay? Okay. Come on. Oh, Marvin, I am so ready. I am ready to cheat. What, cheat? Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to fight Randy fairly. He'd kick my ass. I don't think hitting punching bags for 20 seconds is going to help me fight. Well, how are you going to cheat? I'm going to poison him with tetrodotoxin. What is that? It is a very rare poison found in the pufferfish that will make him completely paralyzed, except he can feel everything. So when he's on the ground, not able to move, I'm going to be wailing on him. Like, oh, fight back, bitch! You can't! Okay, so how are you going to get the poison in him? Well, that's why I have these glasses. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge Randy to a friendly water drinking competition. See, Randy is very competitive, so there's no way he's going to say no. So I'm just going to fill up these two glasses here, and then I'm going to take my poison and put it in Randy's glass. <laughs> he's never going to know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go call Randy. Okay, I'm going to keep stirring this so that it dissolves. Okay, I called him and there he is. Hey, 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 what's going on, Dookie Pants? I don't even care that you called me Dookie Pants. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, I thought before our fight we should hydrate. So I challenge you to a competition to see who can take the fastest sip of water. Okay, I'll do that. Water's good for your body. Okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, man, Randy, it looks like you won. Yeah, because you're too slow. You better be fast in the fight. <laughs> Marvin, he's so stupid. He drank the poison. <laughs> What? What the fuck? Marvin! Marvin, I can't move! Well, did, did you drink the poison? Marvin, did you switch the cups? You never told me to switch the cups! You didn't switch the cups? You never told me to switch the cups! God damn it, I thought you said you were gonna switch the cups! No, you never told me to switch the cups! I mean, I, I guess it would make sense that we should switch the cups, but you had the cup of poison in front of you, but I thought you switched the cups! No, I didn't have time! He came over so fast! God damn it, I can't move! I can't fight now! Well, you still have to fight! We can't back out! I have to back out! I can't move! No, no, what if you still fight, but I'm in the ring and I throw the punches with your arm? What? That's stupid! No, it's, it's gonna work! We, we gotta do something! Okay, so l l let's just go to the fight. Okay, but you have to drag me. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I can't move, remember? Uh huh. All right, buddy. Are you ready for your big fight? No, I can't move. But we have a plan. I'm going to swing your punches for you. They're going to see you. Maybe they won't. We went over this. Come on, let's go. I want to forfeit. All right, I want a nice and clean fight. We're going three rounds, just like I do with my wife every night. Uh, 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 uh. You better have my dinner ready, woman. I can relate. All right, you ready? Okay, go! Woo! I'm about to throw 
beat your butt like I did in high school. I'm gonna swing for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can't swing for him. Well, I'm his trainer. Uh uh, go ahead, train your ass in the corner, sir. No, nah, Rev, 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 it's okay. He can stay in. I'll be his ass, too. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. All right, then. Two v one, go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> ow, 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 get Marvin, protect my face. I'll try that. He's hit me. Well, one of us is gonna get hit. Time out, time out, time out. Rev, there ain't no timeouts in boxing. I know, but they ass need it. Oh, uh, come on, let's go think of a plan. Okay. All right, we have to think of a plan. Yeah, no shit. Marvin, I think we should just tell them that I tried to cheat and then reschedule for a time when I can actually use my body. You want to tell your high school bully you tried to cheat when fighting him? No, but I also don't want him to beat the ever-loving shit out of me again. No, look, we have to think of a plan because that's embarrassing if you tell him you tried to cheat. Okay, what if you get on top of my head and you control me like Ratatouille, like you pull my hair? Does that really work? I think that was just an animated movie. Yeah, you're right. I just have a kink for having my hair pulled. Ooh, I got an idea. What if I let him hit you in the face and then while he's hitting you in the face, I start hitting him? Okay, and then we take turns. No, 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 no. He just keeps hitting you in the face because he's not going to see it coming because while he's beating you up, I'll come up from behind him and start hitting him in the head. Okay, you know what? Fine, let's try it. Oh, yeah, we're going to win. Watch this. Uh, All right, I'm going to count this as round two because your ass lost the first round. That's fair. Look, try to put your hands up. Oh, believe me, I wish I could. Listen, man, I feel bad for you. So I'm going to do you a solid. I'm only going to follow you with my left hand. See, see, that's generous. Only the left hand in his 2v1, he's handing it to you on the silver platter. Oh, yeah, there's no way I could lose. Look, look, are y'all ready? Round two, go! I call this one my gut punch. Oh my god. Ow, ow, Marvin, help me out. I wasn't expecting to hit me in the stomach first. Do you quit? Do you forfeit? Yes! Winner! Damn! I beat your ass in high school and I beat your ass as an adult. I have a spit kink, too, so that works. Oh, my God, I can't believe you forfeit. We could have won. No, we couldn't. Oh, let's go. Uh, uh, come on, buddy. Marvin, today was very embarrassing. Well, you would have had a chance to win if you didn't cheat. Well, it would have worked if you switched the cups. You never told me to switch the cups. I thought it went without saying. You should have told me to switch the cups. <sighs> Marvin, I hate when we argue. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, too. Well, there's one thing we have in common. We both hate Candy Randy. Oh, yeah, fucking hate that guy. Yeah, he's the worst. You want to help me take tape off the couch? Sure, just roll me over. I'll do it with my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, so... You gotta help? Uh, yeah, you gotta roll me over there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hate when he puts all this tape. God, I wish I had teeth. 